guys, Sky 2 Quaddy here. We are almost done disassembling the former Manta 3.5 inch that arm broke. And we are going to transfer those parts to the fluoride four inch and see how it flies. All right, that's all I got for now. Stay tuned. All right guys, Sky 2 Quaddy here, the Manta. 3.5 is no more. I will be taking those motors off, of course, and putting them on a different build, but the rest of the components are now placed on this four inch fluoride. And it is heavy as heck <laughs> with the Run Camp Orange 5 at 322 grams and with a battery on it. This is an 850 milliamp 5S. We need to keep it under 500 grams according to uh, Kebab. So we're at 451 grams and that's what the 5S battery they said with these motors. These motors are the 23 millimeter talls from his website that he's now selling for half price. They were $19 and they get it for $9.99, $10. So I picked up six of those. Um, Want to see how this flies. The arms are definitely wider. Uh, not as thick, but they are wider. And I was able to pick up two of these at uh, two of the fluoride four inch frames at race day quads for 37 bucks a piece. So arms break, at least I can replace them pretty quick. I did do a basement pit tune on it. And I also did a motor output uh, throttling on the batteries because I'm running, these motors are supposed to only run with 5S with a four inch prop setup. So I have five S setups, four inch, and the six inch batteries as well. So everything is how it should be. It's just a matter of taking it to the park. Now it's gonna be a hundred and something degrees where I live. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna do that tomorrow. So that's what I got to now, to now. That's what I got for now, guys. See you guys at the park tomorrow. Sky to Quaddy. Hey guys, Sky2 Quaddy here, out here flying the fluoride four inch at the park. Uh, I've been flying four S, five S, and six S packs. And the other, these four inch, this four inch setup is pretty powerful, even on four S, to pick up this run cam five without issue. All right, gonna keep running more tests. Not gonna do anything crazy today. And uh, yeah, I've gone through one crash in the tree already, up on the very top. And I did not break it like I did the Manta 3.5 inch. Definitely a huge difference between going from 3.5 inch to four. Four can just handle a lot more weight. Very easy.
SK2 quality back from the flights and just giving the preliminary thoughts on this fluoride four inch build. Uh, I'll be doing more flights with it. Today was just uh, preliminary flights. Just wanted to feel it out, see how it handled. I was quite surprised by numerous things about this quad. Number one, the weight and how it is able to fling up the Runcam 5 with no problem. I did experience a little bit of bounce back. I think I can tune that out. Uh, but what was shocking is just how well this Runcam 5, and I feel like for what most of us do in FPV, this cheapo $100 <laughs> Runcam is probably going to fit most of our needs. We can get a, you know, three or four of these bad boys and who cares if you freaking break them or lose them because they're cheap and, and they're pretty durable though. I crashed into a couple of trees and fell down hard <laughs> a couple of times and nothing happened to it. Um, definitely know where I can shave off weight. I mean, I'm sure you can look at the squad and see where you can shave off weight. You know, number one, I can probably go with a, a smaller or a lighter naked a naked cam, but I'm not gonna do that. The protectors, the arm protectors, because I was so afraid from the Manta 3.5 arms breaking. I mean, definitely I can get rid of those later on, but I just wanted to cruise it and see how it felt. Felt. Uh, don't wanna know I'm having problems speaking right now, but anyway, this thing flew really good. Even, even high altitude, speed was good. Punch outs were great. Yeah, it's, it's so weird going from a three inch to a three and a half. I, I really, in my heart, don't feel that there's really a place for a 3.5 inch. When three inch, I can go a heck of a lot faster than 3.5 inch setups. And with 3.5 inch setups, I can't really carry the payload that I want to, to get uh, good freestyle. But when you go from just 3.5 to four, it's like another world. I mean, it's flies close to my five inch quads. There's nothing like a five inch quad, but it's pretty darn close. And the power, the torque, the low end torque, it's, it's pretty good. And these beefy motors, I really thought that these clearance motors that I got from uh, FPV Cycle, they're normally $20, I got them for $10. They're the 23 millimeter talls and only 2330 KV. Um, I did do the motor outputs for the 4S 5S and 6S, so I could run all of them on this. Um, did not get hot because I did that basement pit tuning. It came out, I'm pretty impressed with that, I like it. And I have two of these frames, and that means I've got plenty of arms to uh, replace if, if anything were to happen to it. So I'm gonna keep on flying it. I'll be more risky a little bit later. There's plenty of guys out there that fly this fluoride four inch that do a hell of a lot better freestyle than I do. Um, but I just wanted to see how this would perform being so much heavier than the Manta 3.5 inch. Yeah, four inch is the way to go, <laughs> apparently. And Kebab knows this stuff. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the flights. More to come with this build. Scotty Tuquati, signing out.